hello and welcome to my channel my name is Julie and I want to share with you today um, this lovely um, what's it called it's a lovely die set let me just check on <laughs> Hexagon Lairing Lace die set so there's so many ways you can be using this. Now, if you bought the bundle, you um, got another set as well, a lovely large set like this, but it makes a flower shape. And also, they come with it. Um, let's just slide that across there. They come with this set as well, so if you wanted to, you could make boxes. So it's entirely up to you what you want to do. But this is the sort of die sets I used used to um, make cards with. Um, I've, I've been a fan of tonic for a long time now. Yeah, and they always used to make really nice ones like this. They still do. <laughs> they still do but um, yeah you can um, do whatever you wish with it so uh, let me just get that, out the, get that one out of the way I've just got it on the um, magnetic stand so we're, we're going to be making this one so it is a shaped card so it's going to be it's laid flat so it's going to be standing up like so so it's um an eight by eight so um what i usually do is um get a card blank and um i've got them somewhere there they are. Now, my stock of card blanks, because just recently, um, well, not just recently, ages, it's ages since I've bought any card blanks, because um, I like making 3D stuff, but I've had these for quite some time, and they are really thick. Now I've heard people say just recently that the quality is not so good. Now I can't stand, I can't vouch for that because um, I haven't bought any for such a long time because I don't need to. So that is what that comes out of. Okay, so I've already done a lot of prep. So I've just got to finish off this bit here, and I'll show you that bit in a minute. So it's that, look. So that, that's going to be my top there, all right? And then I've cut another piece out just to lay over the top so we've still got the full shape. So it's the same shape again, but you're just cutting it out of, um, this is 240. I think these cards are 250? No, 300. It says on there. So you'll need. Let me bring the dies back in again. You'll need this biggest one, and I do like to position it like that on the card because then it's got these two bits down here to stand up on, because they they drop lower from the card. So what you need to do. I'm sure you know how to do this. What you need to do is just hang your die over the edge just a little bit. It just about fits on an eight by eight. And you see where your cut line is? You just need it hanging over this little bit up here. You just need it hanging over a little bit, all right? And then you've still got your fold. Okay. 
I know it doesn't look a lot like a lot on camera. Oh, I thought I didn't screw that back up. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Can it? No, you still can't see very well, can you? Let's turn it. I've probably moved it a bit there. So about roughly about that much. It's more. It looks more to me than what it does on ca on camera. We're going that way. That's it. All right. And then tape it down. Put it through your machine. Now, I'm very lucky. I've got a tangerine, and um, the first time I done it, it cut through first time. The second time I done it, um, it just caught on this last. Was it these two here? And um, instead of putting it through again, because it is hard work, I must admit, because it's cutting through like lots of card, isn't it? I did got my scissors out and just trimmed because it was just right up in the corner and it wasn't too difficult to cut out. Okay, so once you've done that, that'll be your card base. Then you need to cut another one of these, which is this one here. All right. So, when I cut out this one, I'm going to leave that over there for a moment. I put, then I cut this grey one, because I wanted it to be a bit of um, spring-like. So, where's that one without the, um, there it is there. So when I put that down onto there, it, hang on, it'll probably be better if I show you on here. When I put it down onto here, it looked too harsh. So I thought, hmm, I don't know if I, if I like that or not. It, when, once I glued it on, no, not glued it on, I didn't glue it on, sorry. <laughs> I laid it on, I thought, hmm, it looks too harsh. The white did so out come my um, aqua flows and I've just got some ink down through And we're just going to tap the pen and we're just going to splash the card like so. And we're just going to leave that to one side. I've done everything else. If you haven't got anything else, um, aqua flows, or you've got some other kind of watercolour mediums, Use those. Whatever you've got in your stash, just use those. I'm fishing. I'm trying to find something to wipe up the desk. Let's just wipe that up. Because it does go everywhere. Right, and then... The next thing I've done wipe the table no. <laughs> <laughs> and then once I've done that I thought I'm gonna use this to go I thought the grey um I wanted something to just knock back this grey a little bit, so then I've got some mousse. So this is a this is a little bit of mousse I made up. Um, I don't know if it's um, okay, but we're oh yeah, it's still it's still quite soft. I'm just gonna I am I'm gonna put it on my table. Kept quite well in there. So if you've got any of the, it's only 
a cheap little pot because hmm, like that moves over there it's pot. <laughs> I've always been putting some um, deionized water in there and that's what I've put in with this um, just to bring it back to life really um, yeah because if you move if you move stuff go hard don't throw it away you just put a little bit of deionized water don't put tap water in just a little bit of that now I like these because if I try and do it with my finger I tend to put too much on so I, I just sort of dab it onto the brush it all depends what sort of texture you're looking for I suppose and if I think I've got too much then I'll just take some off and then I'll just um, rub over the edge it all depends how much you want and you know let me have a look at that yeah that looks like and you can't see it not unless you lift it up to the light and then you can see it glistening in the light so I don't, I don't want it um, too much I just wanted it just to just very lightly in case I've got too much on there because even if um, your mousses have gone hard the um, is it mica they've got in there I don't know what they've got in there but yeah it still it, it still shines even if you um, get a pestle and mortar on it and make it into a fine powder and then put like um, your water on there I just get my palette knife, get hold of it and push it down so it does make it um, crumbly. Then I squirt water on it and then I start pushing it down again because um, it gets soft and just mix it. Just, just put a bit more on that bit. And if I've got any left on my desk, I don't tend to put it back into the pot either. Um, just in case I contaminate what I've got. Just don't mind if I do with a little bit here. So I'm just lifting it up to the light to see. You can you can see the difference actually if I just hold that there. You can see it. Right, that's it then. Let's just pop that over there. So that's that one done. Then I think that is the next layer down. So I'm just going to um, clean up this. Got a bit of yellow there as well. Told you those things go everywhere. Clean off my palette knife. I like to keep that nice and clean. Then I'll get the brush and I'll just push it round on here. I mean you could put it I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you to put it underneath the water but I don't. I just um get one of these wet wipes and just um take off what I can see let it dry naturally that's it done let's just make this all dry again I might show you that pot actually this is my pot look at it this oh it is a little bit soft still but I would take those um, crumbly bits out, put it down on my glass mat usually, push it down with my um, palette knife, and like I said, I've got it on my fingers now, and then um, sp uh, spritz a bit of water on it, mix it in until you get a nice soft um, paste, and then you you can do whatever you want with it. Put it through a stencil 
put it on your card. So, even if they have gone hard, you can re rejuvenate, is it? You can bring them back to life. Sorry, I was reaching for the bin. Right, so I'm not going to work on my card. I'm going to work on this. This should be um, dry now. So now this is going to come onto here. And I think if I do glue that right down, I'm just going to get that out. Yeah. I think I've got it already anyway. Yep, so to make to make that layer you would need that one what you made your card with, okay? Again, so that's three times and, and then I've cut it out once in the white, once for my card base, once in the grey, and then uh, then bring this one in, and then you can cut into it. Don't use that one at the same time, just in case they go over one another. And then cut in with your detail look, and that's how we get that one. And then you can glue it onto there. Um, just uh, don't forget, don't just use them for metal layer because you could cut into the actual card so you get an aperture going inwards and then bring out, but I'm just staying out and coming up so you can get an innie and an outy sort of thing. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Right. I'm just going to go around the edge. Do you know what? I like this um, fine tip, although um, I think it must be my arthritis, to be honest. Um, they do, because you're pushing it through the glue through a smaller nozzle, it does give your, fing your fingers do rake. want to try and get some little dots going around here so I can't, I've tried putting it on the back of my hand and I can't do it I think it's because my um, skin is quite tight over my joints anyway. He doesn't like it. I'll just go around this again. I'm 
can see why I've done it with the bigger one, can't you? Let's just take that off. That's it. come over onto more uh, more side right and then we cut out our other layer so I've gone in with buttermilk yellow and then we've gone in with this white one So the, as the um, layers go down, they all do different things. You'll see once you start cutting them out. Why did I put that top on that other one? Let's have them both open at the same time. Just got to um, uh, find your uh, colour scheme really. So now we're going to put this one onto here. And it doesn't go all. You just get that little hint of yellow. Oops. Let's take that off. What am I doing? I think it's I can feel the glue underneath my my fingers and me I think my fingers are sliding. That's better. Oh I I know what it is. I've got foam on the bottom of it as well. Obviously, you would um, glue that down before you put foam on. So, um, yeah, that one's this one's flat as well. What am I going to do? That's going to stand up like that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Before I um, put anything on top of 
these layers I'm going to glue this down onto my card now then stick that on I think otherwise We're not going to be able to push down on it. near one of those um, lorries bibbing. It must be a big one. But you only hear that with big ones, don't you? Right, okay. That's looking nice. Uh, what have we got to glue on now? Just that one. We'll glue that first. Um, so, um, where have we got to? We've done this layer here. make the white one and the other one the yellow one is that one there the next one is going to be that silver one which is this one The next one is this one and that's going to be on, on foam pads on the silver so you get a bit of shadow the next one is um going to be the um, buttermilk yellow again which is that one then I've bought the white back forwards with this one then I've cut um, another yellow with that one and a silver and then put my sentiment on there that makes the final layer you can do whatever and you get different sentiments um i think i've your day i've i've chosen so i'm just did i just not um 
okay I'll just um, um, stuck those down onto here so yeah before we're gonna be I'm gonna be gluing these down now I think before I stick it onto there it's your set of dies you do what you would like to do with them Make sure I've got that. I like um, a darker colour underneath, but I also like this um, colour combo too. Tell you what, it doesn't work very well when you've got fan pads on. Never mind. Don't, um, I've just done that for quickness, you know, but, um, you can, um, through what you need to first and then put your foam on I'm just going to dab a bit of glue off of there I've got a bit too much on let's see I think my arthritis is playing up as well I think it must be the cold weather and that's going to go on last right so now we'll do some foam padding and that's it I am um, mm, this part just wipe that off of there make sure right you'll have to bear with me Yeah, every night I seem to um, be a bit, I feel so um, a bit stuffy. So I put on some um, uh, I want to say a special name, but I can't. Vapo Rub. Yeah, put yeah, say that, and um, just to help me breathe. And in the morning, huh, nothing's happening. Of course, you get symptoms like that if um, you're getting a flare-up of your arthritis. So I think that's what it must be. going to I know this sounds silly um, but you can put just a little bit of glue on your foam and it does give you a little bit of wriggle time she says. And sometimes 
it's better to stand up over your work. See, I've got it over. No, I'm going to leave it. I've got it over more one side than. Yeah, you probably need to stand up because <laughs> it was <all> crooked. <laughs> Let's just see. <clears throat> Good job I've done that, isn't it? I am. I'm going to stand up. Sorry, everybody. It does make a difference. There. That's the only thing. Let's see if I can get this one on without standing up. Money no release. Right. Sorry. I'm only taking up for backing off of foam pads. And I'll put a lot on because. Um, wanted it to be supported quite happily sitting there cutting up my phone no, I'm just I'm just gonna go for this one I'm just gonna put it on where's that um, just make sure I want it that way don't I it just um be a little sentiment one Ooh. 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 so then I decided um I wanted something up here so goes to my ribbon to see what I've got. So I decided on some organza um, ribbon. I think it's got folded up somehow. There. So I'm just going to chop that up and pretty sticky. Um, gems but that was um, like a pearl colour so I've got old no that's not the right one this is called lemon drops that's quite apt isn't it so what I've done I've got hold of the um, marker alcohol marker and I've just coloured over the top of my gem to make it the same colour as my work so um, yeah, so if you haven't got the right colour gem or drop or and you have got gems and they're um, a cream colour or a whitish colour, you know, um, pearl colour, um, diamond um, sticky jack, jack gems and not got any colour in, you can colour them with alcohol markers if you can um, match it to your work. I don't like cutting organza. Because I can never get it to 
cut it off for me. Now I'm going to stick that on, let's just bring that down a little bit, with um, some silicone glue. Now I do like to use the old um, cocktail stick. So I'm just going to stick that up there. And then although that is sticky itself I'm just going to put a little bit of um, gel on the ribbon to put the um, gem on so that it doesn't come off. Right that's that done. Let's just squeeze that up so that it sorry made a lot of noise didn't it and then we're just gonna get hold of the gem and just pop it on top so that's how I made that card well, I hope you enjoyed the video um, and just play <laughs> just just play with your dies and if you don't like what they what they've cut out for you try something else um try another color um because i was cutting this out and as I, as i was cutting it out i had two layers together and um they slipped i had them on top of one another and then they just slipped to the side and it was that with the flower one or was it with this with this one can't remember um anyway it looked nice when it was just off center so yeah that's another tip just just play that's all that's all i've got to say because <laughs> you never know what's going to happen when you do that anyway that's all for now and i'll see you again real soon bye bye for now